Big Yang and Little Yin. Big Yang and Little Yin were playing brave explorers. Let's explore the forest, said Little Yin. Yes, that's the place for adventures, said Big Yang. So Little Yin put her snuggly into her trolley and off they went. Soon they found a perfect tree to climb. Big Yang pulled Little Yin up onto the lowest branch. I want to climb higher, said brave Little Yin. And with Big Yang's help, she did. Then they found the stream. Let's make a raft, said Big Yang. So they turned the trolley upside down. Big brave Yang paddled the raft round the rocks. After a while, they stopped to pick some berries. All around the forest creaked and rustled. What's that? whispered Little Yin. Don't worry, said Big Yang. There aren't any fierce animals in this forest. Oh, brave explorers aren't afraid of fierce animals, said Little Yin. Deeper into the woods they went. Big Yang made them a den. Dark shadows shifted between the trees. Who's there? whispered Little Yin. Don't worry, said Big Yang. There aren't any witches in this wood. Oh, brave explorers aren't afraid of witches, said Little Yin. Further on they came to an enormous hollow tree. Little Yin climbed up and peered into the trunk. I think it's a monster's house, she said in her explorer's voice. But suddenly she wobbled and dropped her snuggly inside. Don't worry, said Big Yang. I'll get it out for you. Big Yang climbed into the hollow tree and found the snuggly. But he couldn't climb out. Help! cried Big Yang. Little Yin peeped through a hole. Don't worry, she said. I'll get some help. Little Yin looked around the deep, dark forest. Are you afraid? asked Big Yang. Um, brave explorers are never afraid, said Little Yin with a shiver. Big Yang grabbed his mittens and threw them out of the tree. Take these, Little Yin, he said. They'll keep you warm. Little Yin set off through the forest. She came to Big Yang's den. Spooky shadows danced all around. Suddenly, Little Yin didn't feel brave anymore. She tried to sing a loud, witch-frightening song, but her voice was very small. In the hollow tree, Big Yang sat alone, peeping through the hole. Maybe this is a monster's house, he said to himself, and maybe he comes home for lunch. Suddenly, Big Yang didn't feel so brave. He tried to hum a loud, monster-scaring hum, but his voice was very wobbly. Little Yin stumbled on until she found the berry bush. The wind howled through the forest like a fierce animal. I don't want to be an explorer anymore, said Little Yin. I'm only brave with Big Yang to look after me. But Big Yang was huddled in the hollow tree. What if Little Yin forgets where to find me, he thought. Big Yang didn't want to be an explorer anymore. I'm only brave with Little Yin to look after me, he said. Little Yin sat trembling in a burrow of leaves. Then she remembered Big Yang's mittens. She put them on. The mittens were warm and cosy. Little Yin smiled. She felt as though Big Yang was holding her hand. Up she got. I can do it, she said bravely. I must find help. Don't worry, Big Yang. And on she went. Inside the tree, a teardrop rolled down Big Yang's cheek. He picked up the snuggly to wipe his eye. It was soft and cuddly and it smelled of little yin. Big Yang smiled. 
he felt as if little Yin was beside him. I'm not really worried, said Big Yang bravely. Little Yin will be here soon and he practices alphabet to cheer himself up. Before long, little Yin came to the stream and there was her trolley still upside down. She had forgotten all about it. This is just what we need, cried little Yin happily. When Big Yang heard the rattling wheels, he jumped up. Little Yin, he cried, the trolley? How clever! Will it help? asked little Yin. It's perfect, said Big Yang. Big Yang threw the end of the snuggly to little Yin and she tied it onto the trolley. Together they pushed and pulled the trolley inside. Then Big Yang stood on the trolley and climbed out of the hollow tree. He pulled the trolley out after him. Thank you, little Yin, said Big Yang, giving her a hug. Do you think you know the way home? Oh, yes, said little Yin. She put the snuggly and the mittens in the trolley and slipped her hand into his. Shall we stop for some berries on the way, said Big Yang. Yes, said little Yin. Exploring makes you very hungry. And with a yawn and a rumble of empty tummies, the two brave friends trundled home.